Hey, what's up, y'all? Pete here. Just wanted to uh, share a little bit of information. I already wrote a blog post about this, but I know not everyone likes to uh, take time to read text, so thought I'd chop up a short video about it, too. Wanted to uh, just give you a little 411. There's a new book out called Why Peace. Uh, it's a compilation of essays written by a lot of, uh, obviously, pro-peace advocates, uh, put together by a guy named Mark Gutman. I'll show you. He's a, uh, a good guy, and uh, there's Mark there with uh, what I uh, assume is his daughter, but anyway, last year Mark uh, hit a demo on myself up to see if I wanted to solicit some essays. I was able to make a little bit of time and um, have have a little write-up included about sort of my personal journey to voluntarism, and it's essentially it's a longer uh, version of this essay I wrote uh, earlier this year called A Was for America, My Journey to Voluntarism on the site voluntarist.com, which uh, has been a big influence in my life. Carl Wattner, uh, the author of I Must Speak Out. But anyway, uh, for me, it's all about ideas. It's just learning new ideas, being open to new ideas. And if someone's not willing to have a conversation with you, if they have this cognitive dissonance, uh, then that really says a lot. And, you know, if, if we can all be shared up with each other, um, you know, I think we'll live in a, in a better, more uh, rights-respecting and prosperous community. Um, but anyway, like I said, I already wrote up a blog post about this, so if you go to Free Keen and just search for this or look in the description of this video, there'll be a link to this post, and uh, it'll have all the other links um, if you're interested at all in checking out this book. I'll read you the couple paragraphs from the forward real quick uh, that I think encapsulate what this book's about pretty well, and I'll put the text on the screen too so you can follow along. So, Many individuals all around the world have learned that only by interacting peacefully can we achieve a more harmonious, prosperous, healthy, fair, and tolerant society, and that our lives on this planet can be far better. People universally oppose acts of aggression, theft, and fraud when committed by individuals. We accept the principle that the initiation of physical force against others is illegitimate, immoral, and may rightly be defended against. For the most part, also insist that organizations of individuals, such as corporations, also abide by this natural tenet. Makes sense. When it comes to state aggression, however, especially that wrought by democratic governments, the perspective for many of us changes. Individuals too often excuse the state when it harms innocent individuals. This may be because they feel powerless to effect change or uninformed, preferring to defer to those more knowledgeable. They may possess cultivated feelings of nationalism and exceptionalism, expectations of benevolence and altruism in state officials, fears of attack fostered by interventionist propaganda and complacent mainstream media, yearning for conformity or just a willingness to harm, burden, or restrict others in the expectation of benefit to ends and causes they themselves consider to be good ones. Thus, when our government act as aggressors rather than protectors of human rights, many individuals remain silent. So this is a, a very, I think, telling couple paragraphs that really sets the stage for what Why Peace is about. It's got dozens and dozens of authors who, I'll pull up their names for you real quick. Um, some of these guys here that, that are uh, on all sorts of topics you can see. Um, I'll point out a few. Harry Brown, I know has been real influential for a lot of folks. Um, former libertarian presidential candidate and uh, just a very uh, clear communicator and share of ideas. Steve Horwitz, he's an excellent guy. Um, been fortunate to cross paths with him a number of times. Very, very hardcore, very knowledgeable, and uh, again, a, a clear communicator as well. Chuck Payne, I used to... Uh, Intern under when I was an intern at the Cato Institute back in the day. He worked then. He worked at the Foreign Policy and Defense Area. Karen Katowski, she's a retired uh, lieutenant colonel in the Air Force who since has um, really made a case against having a global empire that exists today. Chris Coyne, he's a hardcore dude, really good guy out at George Mason. Bob Higgs, uh, Steve Cubby, Lou Rockwell, Anthony Gregory. So just real quick, I wanted to uh, read the conclusion I had uh, to the essay that was included in Why Peace. I think it will be a good capstone to this video. At the end of the day, today's state that we allow to obstruct and burden innocent individuals who have done no harm to others and advance the interests of some individuals, those best able to curry government's favor, at a cost to the rest of us, is just a bad idea. And ideas can be unlearned. I found the surest way to facilitate this is to establish personal connections with individuals and encourage them to think for themselves, taking their views to the logical conclusion and demystifying the language surrounding actions done by state agents. Taxes are theft. Arresting peaceful individuals is kidnapping, etc. As I tell those who are still on the fence, 
If we don't act now, just imagine how hard it will be for the next generation. Or, as voluntarist author and thinker Carl Watner says, if one takes care of the means, the end will take care of itself. To realize the freer, more peaceful society, we must live it and not be afraid of those who thrive on fear and scare tactics. The liberty-oriented community is growing. More engage in unschooling, agorism, and civil disobedience. I'm optimistic about the future. Anyway, just thought, thought it'd be cool to share. Why peace? Check it out. Peace. And I know some of you are going to comment about it, so I want to make clear right now. Why, like, why, if you claim to be peaceful, are you wearing a shirt called, that says aggressive by nature? And this is my friend, uh, Mike Clark's band, here in uh, Keene, metal band, so... I gotta support Mike, I gotta, and I support metal from day one, so.